Is my hair wrong or something? I don't know. Uh, hi, I'm DC Monster, and uh, I'm going to probably talk what everybody else is talking, obviously. I mean, that's basically how you're ever going to get word across an opinion. Uh, basically, I want to talk about this uh, game, Pokemon Go, for the iPhone or any other smartphone that you actually use. <laughs> Basically, I mean, this has been a huge thing that's ever actually got into people's, I don't know, interests. Considering the fact that the uh, Pokemon games, or basically anything that involved Pokemon, was basically famous in the 90s. I mean, I should know. I, I'm a huge fan, or, or so forth, or so-called. Who cares? I mean... I think it's kind of ridiculous how many people are always so either amazed by it or critical about it or criticized about it. Who cares? So basically, let's go through with this game, shall we? Maybe this might actually show people more interest and in figure out how to play the game. So yeah, Pokemon Go actually came out this year in 2016, and there are teams, of course. Um, you have the Instincts, which is the yellow team you have the mystics which is the blue team and you have valor which is the red team so far so good people will be competitive when it comes to these games i mean you really can't blame them it's a game of course especially when it involves something you really love so much in the 90s now let's talk about how the game really works so you already know that games usually are mostly popular when you're sitting down playing with a controller or the mini games in your phone I don't think that actually works here. Pokemon Go basically encourages, and this is crazy and amazing too, encourages people to get out of their house and walk around. And that's the fun part. You're literally encouraging kids and possibly adults, I mean, who could blame them, to actually literally go outside and get exercise. I mean, that's kind of a deal breaker. So basically, in order for you to actually build up uh, your levels or so, basically your experiences you'd have to either capture pokemon with well <laughs> pokeballs of course even though sometimes it'll be hard to capture i mean it's not easy all the time so yeah i mean it's basically like how you're playing as a character from the game or so so we have a um something interesting though if you want to restock yourself on Pokeballs or other stuff, you'd have to look for these Pokestops. They're these uh, icon, blue icons with diamond uh, tips that actually have to be or all throughout your area, your town, your city, your anywhere. So, I mean, they're basically marked. Uh, they're, e they're historical uh, monuments, schools, churches. It all depends on what the uh, who puts them. So, when you see the Pokestops, you're basically going to have to tap it. I mean, it'll also show you what the place is, of course. That's kind of awesome. And you'll have to... It's like a disc. You're going to have to flip it like a coin. <laughs> or a coin, I should have said that. And you'll either get a lot of very interesting uh, items, such as Pokeballs, Potions, uh, Revive Crystals, Lure Modes, which you could use on Pokestops to increase your game. You also need will also be useful to get incense, which is these really cool uh, devices that actually lure Pokemon to you. And lucky eggs, basically supposed to boost your, uh, well, I mean, boost your luck if you really want to upgrade. And I should probably say this, it's a spoiler, I do apologize, or not, I really, I really don't really want to get into it. But basically, let's get on to the topics, shall we, before we move on. Now, we already know about how incubators are, right? You usually use these eggs that, in order to hatch Pokemon, and that usually encourages with your walking distance, and you can even use a bike. But I don't understand why people are using cars nowadays. That's kind of stupid. Okay, it's kind of easy to actually do that when you're capturing Pokemon, but if you're capturing Pokemon, make sure you're using it in the passenger seat. I mean, the law does really require still to those who, I don't know, drive a car. I mean, you really can't expect police to look the other way if you're reckless driving. And here is another thing. Just so you know, 
And I'm sick of hearing this all the time. Watch where you're going. Seriously. There's been a couple of deaths that actually, or somehow accidents that involve these, this game. And that's because people are so oblivious from reading the instructions. What makes you so, so oblivious to not see where you're going? I mean, come on. It's like, it's like, okay, I'm looking at the phone now. Then I'm looking up, looking around, looking around. I look up down up down up down it's seriously a, not a bad idea plus you don't want to get yourself in trouble with other people i mean come on that's kind of simple i mean you don't want yourself to actually get into some type of situation where you can't get yourself out of and here's another thing i get it i mean i've even seen through the news how some re- concerned people such as i don't know religious organizations are probably demonizing this game well let's what else is new about that the thing is i mean i think it was kind of ridiculous how uh, a pastor was able to call these games digital demons they're anime characters i mean seriously if you knew anything about the real world i think you would think another tune otherwise it's just publicity it's ridiculous oh uh here's back to the game real quick if you actually see more than one Pokemon, it's kind of a good idea. I mean, let's face it. The more Pokemon you collect, the same ones at least, the more you could actually get these candies that actually are a part of the Pokemon. You collect them, you trade them as in transfer button to actually send it to ooh, the professor, and you get a candy back. And that gives you the ability to evolve your Pokemon to whatever they become. I think it's kind of awesome, I mean, how people are really interested in this game. But yeah, seriously, guys, you really shouldn't demon, uh, I don't know, talk down to children who are playing this game. I mean, so what if they weren't born in the 90s? I mean, it encourages us to get them out. Isn't that what we want? And I think it's kind of ridiculous how many people really think that they know too much just because, I don't know, they had more experiences what they were reading into. But yeah, uh, like I was saying, using cars for incubators or catching Pokemon. Yeah, one, you can do that with Pokemon as long as you're in the passion sheet. But you're not going to be able to catch any po- I mean, upgrade your incubators. Because apparently, the game's been said to actually... What's the word? Oh yeah, the game's been actually said to uh, detect 15 miles per hour. So if you're going over that, you aren't going to get as much points as you expect. Furthermore, I mean, I actually kind of like the Pokemon's game, and I've been playing it ever since it came out. I mean, I can seriously say that this probably would be interesting, you know? If we had more games that actually encourages kids to actually go out, but at least see where you're going. I mean, we can't really expect people to actually, I don't know, not be careful unless they're reminded to be careful or know the what to do. I think that's kind of ridiculous. I mean, it's kind of redundant to actually not know where you're sp- what you're supposed to do when it comes to outside. I mean, you're going to have to go as the community goes. Be careful and have a fun time. Actually enjoy yourselves. Don't bully each other online. Who knows what and who knows not. Try to become a better society and stop fighting and actually pay attention to the rules. Seriously. I mean, how, is that that hard? Ugh. Well, yeah. I mean, this is DC Monster. I have, This works. And I am going to be putting a spoiler. So, yeah. Spoiler again. Um, Yeah. As a fellow Pokemon fan to another, happy traveling. Have fun. Be nice to one another. Don't be snooty or snobby. Just be yourself. See ya.